Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayan, and I just watched The Bye Bye Man on Netflix. I should have known what I was getting into because I, uh, it's one of those movies. So the lore around The Bye Bye Man is that you can't think it or say it or write it or mime it or act it out. No charades, nothing. Because once you do, he manifests himself and then he comes after you. Which these college kids find out. The movie opens up with a flashback scene of who we find out is a reporter who's compiling articles regarding the Bye Bye Man and some recent killings that were linked to the lore. So, of course, he learned about him, so now he's after him and he's trying to figure out, you know... Who'd, who'd you tell? Blah, blah, blah. Because that would keep the thing going. And, um, shoots everyone, as you do. And then flashback to now. Where said college kids in the present are renting out a house because they no longer want to live on campus. And unfortunately, the one finds little trinkets around that are somehow attached to the bye-bye man in the form of gold coins. And then opens up an end table where he sees in a spiral, don't think it, don't say it, etc., etc., all in it. Which, of course, then pulls back the liner of the drawer and scrawls in there is the Bye Bye Man. Because that's just how you set up a horror movie, I guess. So, weirder and weirder things start happening. He, Our main character starts to dig more into the lore going to libraries, finding the mentioned um, reporter had compiled a whole bunch of stuff that had not been published for obvious reasons because you don't want to keep spreading this virus. So apparently powers of the Bye Bye Man include ghost trains, uh, coins, weird dogs, and morphing your mind into envisioning the worst case scenario, say your girlfriend cheating on you with the other roommate you live with, or um, rotting, very strangely, maggots in hair, blah, blah, blah. What did I like about this movie? Um, I mean, some of the scares were good. I'm not a fan of jump scares, but some of them were really effective, but I felt like this movie kind of leaned a little too heavily on that, because once you did get a good shot of the villain, he's not incredibly scary or imposing. And you don't really know what happens when he actually gets you because it seems like the characters he affects seem to get themselves. Like the reporter in the beginning drank a whole bunch of poison after he shot everyone and ran out of bullets and then couldn't figure out, well, what am I going to do? You know, go under the counter and drink some stuff, I guess. Um, most of this is going to be dislikes. I disliked that I did not care about the characters. I didn't feel bad for them, which is really unfortunate because they are being tortured and it's a lot of in your head, you know, fake stuff and you should feel some amount of sympathy for them. I did feel bad for the librarian because she just kind of got pulled into everything. She didn't deserve that. Her kids didn't deserve that. I felt like the CGI was terrible. I felt that they, it seems like they felt the need to kind of explain everything and handhold a little too much with the story. I understand it's probably not made for my demographic. It's made more mainstream, you know, teenage, young adult kind of stuff, college age, whatever. But it was just, I don't know, a lot of build up and not a lot of payoff. I liked that the girl from The Matrix was in it. That was cool. Nice to see you again, girl. But just this movie was very disappointing. I didn't go into it with any expectations other than just to watch it and see how I felt. And it, the pacing was horrible. I felt like it dragged on for a really long time. I don't think it was an incredibly long movie. However, it did feel that way. So I'm going to give this 
like a one out of five. I would never watch this again. I wasn't a fan. I just, there's a lot more better movies out there to watch, like maybe Day of the Dead. You could watch that. Um, but yeah, as I said, I found this streaming on Netflix. I'm sure it's available streaming on other platforms as well as physical copy as it is a newer movie. Uh, yeah. Leave me a comment with some of your thoughts. What did you think? I thought they missed a big opportunity by not putting NSYNC's Bye 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 in there. That would have been great. Because they did have um, Bye Bye Love, which, good song, but come on. Put some more songs in there. Uh, yeah. Like the video if you did like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you and hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator, and my solo and reviews with the groom are available in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please also don't forget to check out their creators. They're super awesome. And bye bye. <music>